Hey guys, hope you're doing well. This is a quick update video so we all can rejoice on what God has done through people who have given financially and co-labored with us this year and prayed for this ministry, how God has used your funding, your prayers, and the leaders here at Gospel of God Ministries to see um, lives transformed. Over 709,000 people have heard the gospel of Jesus Christ. Over 612 teams have gone out all over this nation and even internationally this year to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. We've seen 15 babies saved. Uh, please pray for those mamas, those eternal ways. So mamas chose not to abort Why one of the evangelists were there at the mill this year. Uh, so pray for those moms not to abort, that they would keep their babies, they would see the value of their child. Uh, thank you for the continued prayers there. We've also given out 51,000 gospel tracts. Uh, so think about 51,000 missionaries going out. These I call uh, Charles Spurgeon called these paper missionaries. Uh, these these uh, tracts are probably still bearing fruit. So thank you very much. Over 100 people have been trained to communicate the gospel of Jesus Christ from the Bible with unbelievers, with cults, with false beliefs like Mormons, agnostics, atheists, Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, uh, people from other cults. So just uh, rejoice with us there and pray that God will continually use those people that were trained. Uh, we've also given out over 230 Bibles. 100, over 140 of those were given out at the State Fair this year here in Raleigh, North Carolina. So I am going to talk about uh, funding here at the end of the year, where our shortfalls at, what we're going to do if uh, we do uh, meet our budget this year. So stick around for, for that because that, that's very important also. Uh, if we don't, we don't have the funding, we can't do the ministry. So uh, God will provide for a ministry that he's working through. So we know that God's going to provide for us. Uh, we've had 105 people. Uh, say that we're Christian, but only eight of them could communicate the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that's a sad fact. Uh, but this is why a ministry like this is so important, that we teach people how to share a clear biblical gospel. And uh, it's a sad st statistic, but it's a statistic that all of us should understand, that 105 people said they were Christians, but only eight could share the gospel of Jesus Christ. We have seen, we've had individual conversations with over 1,400 people. So the leaders here at GGM, we aren't ashamed to go in and to engage people, to have conversations with people who don't think like us, who don't believe like us. We're called to go out into the public square and to reason with people, to preach the word, to share the word. So that's just what the leaders have done. So that's what God's done through your, your giving, your co-laboring with us this year. We have seen people come to faith in Christ I'm currently uh, discipling someone who's come to faith in Christ. We're walking through the Gospel of John. Uh, it's so neat, so refreshing to see the fruit of salvation in this person's life. So continue to pray for him also. Now, we are about $26,000 short uh, since the last time I checked our P.O. box. Now, that's not uncommon for nonprofits, but December is always a strong giving month. So we, we know we'll catch up because God's always provided for this ministry. I don't say that arrogantly at all. I say that very humbly, that God would give us the opportunity to steward, to co-labor with you with the funding that you give to this ministry. And what I get excited about is what the Apostle Paul talks about in Philippians. You know, yeah, we need money to do ministry, but I get excited about the fruit that's going to be born on the, your behalf, the fruit that's going to be given to your account, the people that you're going to see in heaven, the, the, the rejoicing that's going to take place in heaven when you get there because you've given to the Lord and we've stewarded your money well and we've used it to buy Bibles, to supply evangelists of what they need, to buy uh, gospel tracts, to buy signs, to uh, help evangelists if, when they need to go on trips, whatever it may be. We want to use the money that you give to bless the evangelist and make sure they have what they need. So thank you so much. I mean, we've got, if we do meet this budget at $26,000, we will be able to um, buy plane tickets for a trip out to Las Vegas next year. I'll be going back to Mozambique next year, probably going uh, on another mission trip out, out um, near the continent of Africa next year. So this funding not only would help us 
and through our admin, not only help provide for evangelists, but it helps us to, to plan uh, trips in advance so we know we can go on them. And uh, we need to be blessing our leader in Mozambique, helping equip him, helping equip the, the potential evangelist in Mozambique. And all this stuff costs money. I'm just being honest with you. You know it does. I mean, you know what life is. So uh, pray about providing for us, uh, giving and co-laboring with us. If you want to give electronically, you can go onto our website, gospelgm.com, click the donate button in the right corner, and you can do e-giving. If you want to give through snail mail, write a check. You can give to P.O. Box 1516, Wake Forest, North Carolina, 27588. And this address is on our website also. Uh, just click contact button on the website, gospelgm.com. But I'll say the address again. You can give your check to P.O. Box 1516, Wake Forest, North Carolina, 27588. Thank you guys so much for giving to the Lord. Thank you for providing for this ministry and co-laboring with us and what we're doing. Um, it's such an honor to have you hold the rope for us as we go down in the well for these precious souls. So go out and proclaim or share the gospel to see a life transformed because the truth worth proclaiming and sharing is the truth that transforms. See you next time.